This is what happens when I go away for a weekend. The boys go and play. Please do not try this at home. So Robbo has bought half an aeroplane. So why, so why have you bought an aeroplane? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It was a good look good on Facebook Market place. So all we know is it's a two-stroke, three-bladed prop, and we used uh, an old boat trailer to pick it up with. So what? So what? So what's your plan with it? You gonna fly away with it? You gonna? I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Can make a boat out. Have you not got the wing? <laughs> <laughs> Or paperwork. Did you or have anything. a survey for it when you um about as big a one that you did on Surrender, yeah. <laughs> right, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna tie it down to the trailer. Don't know how powerful it is, but we don't want it to go flying that way, do we? Right. Strap down now. Right, so we've got a tiny bit of fuel in it, but we're gonna presume that's bad, but we're gonna try and give it a quick fire now. Not a clue how you do it. <laughs> Clear prop. <laughs> you don't have to be sat in it. <laughs> I'm just getting a wet bulb. <laughs> so it's got stuff growing yeah. in it. It's a nature reserve. <laughs> it won't go. It won't go. <laughs> Jesus. It's got a good compression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need some throttle. Fault. <laughs> Send it. Right, so I think we dump all the fuel, clean the carb out. Fresh fuel in it, have a look at the plugs. We'll see how we get on after that. Alright, so Robert's just come to undo this this hose clip here and then he's realised it's sort of bolted down here. It's bolted down. We're gonna put lock wire back on it, aren't we? Of course we are. Yeah. You don't want to go in your prop there. No. He's been very gentle with it. I don't know, yeah. This is a very precision aviation machine, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Disassembled by a baboon. You know what? I bet that's worth good money, that bit, you know. Oh, yeah. eBay? So, 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 somebody who's got like. Somebody who's got a. One of these. A, Ge a Gemini flashed too. <laughs> Wonder what happened to the first one. Gemini right, started, one. started to rain. I bet the first one crashed. Right, cool. I don't even know what engine it is. I'm guessing Rotax, but. Oh, well, it's got some pieces of string, pieces of string to hold the uh, the plug caps on. What if that's your power band? <laughs> Suppose I'm not finger tight. Right, let's go find a plug socket for them. Pull the plugs. They look like fresh plugs actually. And then we'll dump the fuel. Aircraft technician. <laughs> <laughs> uh, negative. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. I've got even less clue what I'm doing on this than I have on the boat. <laughs> Righty tighty, at least he knows which way to turn it. How long did that one? So we're now drilling the fuel. It's not quite got it all. I'll just have to get the tank off and tip it upside down. The tank's got these like little quick release things, so I don't know whether. Oh yeah, shut out. You wouldn't want that falling off in flight, would you? So the crap in the bottom of there. That'll give you a bad day flying, won't it? So we're gonna mix up some two-stroke oil. What have you got there? I've got steel. Steel. 
chainsaw oil. My gee, if you get in that, that'll chop you up pretty well. Won't <laughs> yeah, it? I think I think I'll chop you up better than a chainsaw. <laughs> so fifty to one ratio, five liters of petrol, hundred mil. Oh, just a sec. Go on. Whoever's got the cleanest of cobs. Yeah. Oh, bro, bro. Perfect. Oh, it's gone blue. Oh. Petrol. Speaking of smell of petrol, the, the sting that would come out of that thing was horrible. I would, I would never have gone that. Alright, we'll mix this up, put the plugs in it, fuel her up, off we go. Alright, shall we see if we've got a spark? Go on. Go on. So I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, there's a nice healthy spark there. Power bands are getting in the way. Like your hair back. Alright, so we'll pull the float ball off and have a look what remaining goops in there. That has to be the most serviceable car I've done it. Is that it? No screws, nothing. Just a remnants of two stroke oil. Probably two strokes. The fuel evaporates but leaves the oil, the oil there. That's why they're always a pain to start. That's that's my theory anyway. So if you don't if you don't if you dump the fuel, you don't want this. Oh sort of filter, okay. Pull the minge out. It's pretty pretty clear. You can see that. Yeah. Good size minge, yeah. Obviously, before we fly it, we'll check all the other things as tight. <laughs> you got some lock wire here. Yeah? It's some lock wire. I've got some, yeah. We've got some fishing line. Same, same stuff. Yeah. Ricky, you could do mid-air refueling like that. Um, I can see a bit of an issue to that, can't you? <laughs> bit of a choppy thing. Yeah. The chainsaw. So, th this, is, this is actually 98, Shell 98 V-Power stuff. You don't really want to run these on like that crappy E10 stuff, do you? Do you run your Do you run your crappy car on E10, or do you put? Um, I, I use the proper stuff. Do you put us proper stuff in his car? Yeah. I don't blame him. Cheeky guy, crappy car. Crappy car. It's a golf. <laughs> no, he's got a good golf. <laughs> yeah, diesel. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> right, five liters has got us to there. That's quite good, though. I thought five litres wouldn't touch the size, I'm used to boats. Right, yeah. shall we see if she goes? Uh, how do you do it? Just put your foot on the brake. Is it the battery? Is it in neutral? In neutral, <laughs> with the end brake on. <laughs> Alright, so throttle's off at the moment. So There's no one round that propeller no either. One the propeller. Is it quite clear, is it? Yeah, it should be. Okay. Win 
machine. It's like amazingly quiet as well. You'd expect it to be like, rah, like a jet engine or something. Well, I don't know how many poles it took. How many poles was that? It was, it was a couple, but, Five, like that, it? but we, had, we had to basically prime the fuel system, didn't we? And then all of a sudden it went and didn't stop. I was expecting it to be like, like a crashing fire plane. Be, 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 be. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you've all been asking the same question as we're asking now. Has this got enough power to push the van? Obviously brakes off. We'll see if it'll move. Well, that's test one. Do you think it'll push the van, Robbo? Oh, I reckon so, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Up to 88 miles an hour. So, it could definitely push a van. <laughs> what else could it push? Right, so we've done the van test. What we're gonna do now, we've got the front propped up, so we've got a better thrust angle. Is that what they call it in the aviation industry? Big words. Big words. All right, we're gonna see what, what it can push now. See, we're gonna see if it can move some cardboard boxes, help us tidy up a bit. It's a shame it's not awesome. Could be a good leaf blower, wouldn't it? to go that far. That lid went really well. That was so funny. Uh, and if the neighbours enjoying it, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, na neighbours are really appreciate a nice bit of, yeah. bit of aviation. She's got some power, some serious power, and she just, she, she held the RPM. Um, so look at the exhaust gas, well, exhaust temperature. Exhaust temp, brilliant. Oh, I don't know what it's at. So. Right, so we've had one failure. The exhaust clamp has fell off, but what I'm concerned about... That's, that's going to hurt, isn't it? That's going to hurt the prop. Right, so let's just pull that off, because it's meant to go on here. So this is why we do these shakedowns, do you know what I mean? Before we, before we um... take to the sky. I right, probably won't do it. I don't know where it's because of the, the clean-up bill. Oh, for the prop. Bit of polar star. I think if you're gonna do it, you do it flat out. Don't you?
and that scientifically proves that polystyrene can't put up with the propeller. Good prop, but. Right, let's go to the shop and get loads of fruits. <laughs> All right, so now we've proved it's got a lot of power. What we're going to do is take it off the trailer now, and then we'll do some road tests. All right, so we're going to now see if we can get the airspeed meter working. So that means driving it. Are you joking? All right, so pull us on the brake. Engines be on position. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's my problem. I've never driven one of these before. I'll have a look at this. Ah, oh, okay, now it makes more sense. That makes more sense. Right, to brake, use your heel. So, so to brake, use your heel, which basically just rubs on the front wheel. There's like a little bar here, which rubs on the front wheel. But, I couldn't push hard enough without pushing the throttle. <laughs> but I suppose if I just move my foot to the side, then that'll be fine. But then it went like full lock on me. I look up again to the brake and my foot got stuck. <laughs> so, what I need to do is be mindful. If shit starts to go wrong, switch it off. Right. Take two. Should I want to drive it first? Uh, that's why you're <laughs> driving it, mate, not me. So, what, what, your goal's fine now, isn't it? Dunno. <laughs> right, This uneven road isn't helping. There's our runway. Let's give it some. Remember you got a big prop hanging out the back as well. Woo! <laughs> hey, it's got some go. <laughs> Is that book as quick as it felt? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so that was that was a new thing for me. That I've never been in a machine like it. Yeah, I've flown model aircraft for many years, but that has got some. It just initially it doesn't do much, doesn't do much, doesn't do much, and all of a sudden it goes, "Wow, we're going, we're off," and I'm sure it'll just keep going until 70 mile an hour. Do you like it? until until it runs out of pitch? Well, what did it look like from outside, Robert? It looked really quick, mate. As you say, it's kind of like loads of noise, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, gone. The question is, what what do we do with it? What 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 use is it? Obviously, it'd be great to get a wing, but then you have to get all the airworthiness certificates and get it all tested. It's, and never, gonna it's never gonna fly again, unless we sort of I don't know, spend it. Hit a ramp. <laughs> Those potholes um, nearly got you. Yeah. Yeah, my intention was to come through there hot, but I didn't fancy going over the pumps. <laughs> and then, then, then I'm to turn. But yeah, do, you do feel vulnerable. When you're on it, you feel so vulnerable. You think like, this is just trying to kill me. This because the steering's, the steering's not right. It idles a bit too high, I'd say. So you're still pushing a little bit when you should be stopped. Um, but back to the question is, what, what, what do we do with this fantastic thing? We've got a lot of horsepower, decent prop. I was thinking an airboat. Have you guys got any experience in making airboats? I think if we did it, it'd be a very sort of like rough and ready. You see all these fancy ones, you know what I mean? Busy worth the hassle. I, I don't know. I don't know what we should do with it. I don't think you need another project. I don't, we don't need another project, but we've got one of these. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't often come across these, do you? Do you know what I mean? So it's a bit, a bit torn. So you guys got any good ideas? Anyway, we didn't die. Yet. Yet. Still got to get it back up there yet, yeah? but thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you next time.